Hey everybody, Asher here. This is Dragon's Dogma 2, a game that is going to have a lot of ink spilled about it, text, pixels, whatever have you, because there is a lot to like, but unfortunately a lot of BS. And we're going to try to go into one of those today, which is to see if you can actually delete your save file, <laughs> because who knew that having just one save would be a, a thing. So I'm going to try to go through process I've read that people say you can't do it i understand from other games that i've played that you should be able to but i want to put the tail to the tape here i just wanted to start here just to show that okay i do have a save file i'm very early in the game i didn't do anything with the character creator because i just kind of wanted to dive in so we're just going to turn this off and we are going to uh, return to the uh, let's save and return to the title screen why the hell not we're going to delete this anyway so this is uh this is fun like i said maybe just a little bit in i have some thoughts about dragon's dogma the game and i have some thoughts about dragon's dogma the what the hell is an online store doing popping up there but that's a discussion for another time for those of you that don't know uh what's going on here this is the steam version this is the pc version you should be seeing my desktop here i've had some issues with it actually like stopping running. So you have that 100% because that is your cloud save trying to back up here. It's gonna take its dear sweet time and there we go. If you go to the properties, you can actually decide to untick this. That's really easy to get to. And uh, keep games in the save cloud here. I have a little bit of memory available, it's fine. So, however, you also have to get to the local files. And I'm just gonna leave this up here if you want to zoom in by all means. But whatever uh, disk your Steam is loaded on, program files 86, Steam, user data, whatever this is, is maybe unique for you. But the game number you need to know for Dragon's Dogma 2 is 2054970. So if you go to this folder, you'll see some shit. Go to remote, go to Win64 save. And if we axe this, we should be able to just get rid of everything. So what I'm going to do here is do what I normally do in this kind of situation. I'm going to cut. I'm going to go to my old save data. You can see some greatest hits there, plus my kid beating Undertale and wanting to keep everybody safe because Undertale, another game where you can only have one save file going on at a time. Don't tell me that Dragon's Dogma 2 is the first, but do tell me that um, I have some very good history with Monster Hunter where you have multiple save files and uh, if my kids watch me play this game, it's like, ooh, I want to try. Let's not, let's not go into that right now. Ooh, I want to try. You, you can't necessarily do that because it's like, well, you can play on this save or you can sit and do nothing. Or I guess technically you can pay $70 for another copy. I guess that's the thing. Undertale's a $15 or $20 indie game. Um, this is a much larger production. And from the little bit that I've played, the game is good. And this, it, it does this every time when I load it up. It, it'll go to full screen eventually. The game is good. The problem is, wait a minute. No, look, where's my save data? We have to do all this again. I'm just gonna leave that defaults. We're gonna um, put my age here as 99. We're gonna scroll down here. So this is all not here. But yeah, it's, um. you only have one save. So if you wanna try to play multiple saves here, you have to go through all this, but this is all options stuff. I gotta actually see if we actually need to start a new game or not, so... Yeah, we don't have the option to continue a game, and when I hit start game, we're still not loading from the backup here. We just have our introductory sequence, which I'm going to skip. So, there we go. Yeah, that's, um, that's how you get rid of your save data. Um, we're also just gonna alt F4 real quick because we're back to character creation now, and we're gonna want? try to undo what we just did because if you can't go one way you should be able to go the other here like if you want to resume your stuff you see that as usual with seam stuff it's gonna re it's gonna recreate this data here that's that's what it always does dragon's dogma still still running like a dog there we go but you don't have to necessarily delete this, but I'm going to delete it anyway. We have our save data backed up here. If I just go back to properties, go to the Steam Cloud backup, out, cloud is out of date. You always get asked a question here when you do this. 
Um, do we get the cloud save or do we use the local files and does that overwrite what's on the cloud? That it's starting in a full screen window and then moving back here tells me a hint. But we're going to see what this which which save we ended up with here in just a second. All right, load from last save and there we go. We're back to the Tales beginning. My settings haven't carried over, so I'd have to redo any of my graphic settings and anything else. But very simple, short, sweet, to the point. That's how it goes. Like I said, there is a ton to talk about with Dragon's Dogma 2, and I hate that the current state of gaming is such that you can't even just have a game release and be like, all right, hooray. Um, you have Capcom, who this is not the first time they've done it with one of their games, but it is the first time they've done the sort of shove the store out on the release day after the review embargoes up. But you only have one save file, but that's how, at least on PC, you delete, you, uh, you can delete save, you can start a new game, anything like that. You just have to play with this save cloud, for those of you who are not familiar. So this is Asher, just keeping it short. I may make a little bit more content just to show you the game because, like I said, a lot of the discussion of the game is not actually about the game. But uh, I'm also on the fence about that same bullshit making me want to refund. So, yeah, figure that out later when I have some time. You all take care. Hope this was helpful to somebody. See you next time.